Hello and welcome back. We are doing some magic today, but it's uh, not just any type of magic, as you can probably see by these two <laughs> these two monstrosities here. Um, we are playing, not commander, because there's no commanders. We are playing a thing called Canadian Highlander, uh, which is similar because yeah. it is a hundred card singleton. But mm -hmm. as you said, there's no commander, and it uses the vintage ban list, which means basically. Anti cards, dexterity yeah. cards, those kind of things. And then a points list, so you don't just jam all the vintage powerhouses. So certain yeah. cards are worth varying amounts of points, and you get 10 points per 100 cards in your deck. Mm -hmm. So we're both playing only 100, but if you wanted to, for instance, play like a Battle of the Wits deck with 200 or more cards, then uh, for every extra 100, you get 10 more points. But for 99 cards, you still only get 10 points. Yeah. Yeah. You have to go so no, in, no in between. No fancy math. Um, yeah, so, uh, this, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting one way or another. Um, the one thing that strikes me w as weird about this format is that you still only start at 20 life, because usually these singleton formats, like, they're, they kind of encourage games that go on for a long time and you're doing big swingy things, and having a higher starting, having a higher starting life total usually, uh, lends itself a little better to being able to get into that later game. So that's that's a little strange to me. Like I feel like if you want to make like a big flashy expensive things deck, you're just gonna get beaten down by three drops immediately. Well, yeah, the yeah, burn and cards exactly can still yeah. exist. So it's so it, it's an interesting niche that this uh, that this format fulfills. And here. I, I like the concept of the points. Yeah, because no, you that's can a great, play yeah. with vintage cards, but you don't have to go all in on it. Yeah, yeah. You exactly. can you know play a few of the cards or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally in vintage, it's like. You either play all of the stupid broken cards, or you mm -hmm. play cards that prevent them from playing some stupid exactly. broken cards. Yeah. <laughs> or just play hate bears. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I mean. Like, yeah. You play exactly. cards that stop them yeah. from doing broken things, <laughs> or you play the broken things. Yeah. There's no in-between. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the deck I'm playing, it's just a blue-white control-ish type list. I'm trying to run as many uh, cantrips as possible. I'm going to call it blue-white Dovin. Dovin Bon, I think, because he's in the deck... And he'll probably never be featured ever again. So, no, hey, why not? Why not? <laughs> it's his time to, to shine. Him. Yeah. And you? And I'm playing a four-color birthing pod list. Mm. Which is interesting, because birthing pod was a pointed list. Like, it was three points to get a birthing pod, which is that interesting. Is, that is very interesting, yeah. But I guess it kind of surmounts the 100-card singleton by True. being able to fetch up a path. But, but you still also have to be yeah, able exactly. to actually get you your to pod. find it, so... Which is, well, 1 in 99 chance, although I'm sure you have plenty of ways to dig it out. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so to decide who goes first, since these are really big decks, we're going to roll a really big dice. And uh, just to change it up, let's say lowest goes first, huh? Sure. Seven. Four. Well, that would be you. So, uh, you'll go first, and we will see you in game one. All right, game one. Go ahead and show your hand. We've got... Those. And for myself... I think this one's worth the gamble, this little gamble I've got going here. So we'll see. All right, kick us off. Breeding pool untapped, 18. Okay. And the worst Llanowar elf you've ever seen. God, I almost don't want to waste <laughs> this, but I don't want you to have three a three drop on turn two, so I'm going to miss that bet for life. Even though it hurt me to do that. <laughs> Enter go. Draw a card. That one's not terrible. Um, play an island. And we will go for a cheeky bit of sleight of hand. That's that's my sleight of hand. Um, so I get one of these and one of these goes away forever. But I like both these though. Which one do I want to keep? Yeah, with a hundred cards, it's yeah pretty much going away. Forever. Yeah, I mean, I have fetch lands, I guess, but I probably still won't ever see it again. 
I, so I think in that regard, this is less replaceable than this. So I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to put this on the bottom. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Forest. Yep. And a much better Lanawar ah. Elf, even though he can't be a Lanawar Elf at the True. moment. And Green Sun Zenith for zero. Ooh. Yep. You got it. Yeah, so Misstep obviously would have been better against any of those, but I also didn't really want him to play a three drop on turn two, especially when he's on the play, because that just puts me so far behind. Dried Arbor from a zero drop. <laughs> instead, instead, you play two more mana darks, basically. Essentially. That's what happened. Enter go. Untap. I mean, with no fetch lines, Draw the card. Death Rate Shaman's not really doing anything. True. So that one was pretty good. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to play Windswept Heath and pass the turn. You know, trying to shuffle this monster. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, it's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, that's, that's typically one of the main reasons why we don't play Commander in these giant deck singleton formats as much. Because it's just a pain in every aspect just makes it twice as hard. It's twice as hard to shuffle, twice as hard to edit, usually twice as long of games. Island, enter go. Mm. You know what? Actually, I'll attack you for one. Deal. 17. And then enter go. I'm going to crack that on a 16. Um, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to go fetch... How of, well, actually, you know what? Nah. Screw it. We're just gonna go straight for a Tundra. Because I want the mana. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna be fun. Let's do one of those. Good enough. It'll do. It'll do. And on end step, I will go for a little peer through depths. So we'll look at our top five cards, reveal an instant or sorcery from among them, put it into our hand, and the rest on the bottom. Hmm. Doesn't seem bad. Um. I think we'll take this mana drain. That's a good card to know about. Yeah. Now, uh, of course, this text says interrupt, but it is an instant. That is an instant, so that's perfectly fine. And one tap, draw a card. That's a good one as well. Um. Hmm. Although, I suppose it could have been better because it'd be nice to have some lands. Uh, I think I'll just pass, actually. I'm gonna exile this Boreal Druid. Sure. Into life. Sounds delightful. Untap. Draw for turn. Yeah, it's... Pretty good card. Time walk? Hmm... Hmm. Is that worth draining? It honestly might be. For two mana? Yeah, it's worth draining. I will mana drain that. You got it. Exile your windswept teeth for a red. Yep. Domri Raid. Sure. We shall look at our top card. Reveal an Elvish Mystic. Sounds good. Drago. Untap. Still isn't a source that isn't blue or green. Draw. Main phase. We will get two colorless mana from the mana drain. Uh, uh, I really needed that to be a land. Let's see. 
What does this do when it goes off? Double strike, trample, hexproof, and haste. Gross. Just all the things. That's just very gross. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna gamble a little. Alright? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna gamble a little. So I'm gonna use a blue to cast Ancestral Recall, targeting myself. Yeah. So we're gonna draw three cards. And yes, one of those is land, <laughs> so that's good. Um we're gonna play a Mystic Gate. Cancelo Mystico. Sounds pretty sweet. And you can have double white if you so need it. Exactly. Um Hmm. Which is better here? Eh, who am I kidding? I know which one's better. I think. Maybe maybe I don't. Yeah, okay. So, we will tap these to make a blue and a white. Um, I just remember it. So I got a blue, a white, and two colorless. So we use the white and the two colorless to cast a Monastery Mentor. And then we Ooh. use the blue. I assume that's all fine. Yeah. You don't really counter spells. Yeah, I don't so. counter spells. Then we use the blue to cast Brainstorm. So that's going to get us a monk. We have a pile of monks somewhere. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Monk. So, we draw three. And we put two back. Um, probably, at this point, these two. Yeah. Okay. And... Seven cards, so that's good. Pass the turn. Untap. Now her middle ability fights things together, right? Yeah. Yes. I think it's a guy. Is it a he? Okay, whatever. Whatever whatever gender. Not wearing a shirt, one so identifies probably. <laughs> Blooded Strand. It's yeah. just the best news. Crack that going to 19. Yeah, that's pretty good. Because that turns on Deathrite Shaman even more. Here's a plateau. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we need those last two colors in mind. Yeah, why not? And we're going to look with Domri. Sure. No luck. No luck. So you're tapped out at the moment. I currently am, yes. So I think we're going to try for Eldamari's call now. Uh, just any creature? Any creature. Was that one on the list? No, it was not, actually. Hmm. Weird. I guess because it cost a weird mana cost, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You can do that. Going to find the Seaver Exarch. Hmm. Okay. That's an interesting one. Hand it your go. Hmm. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. Almost like I knew that was there. So, I'm going to lead things off with a Ponder. Get a Monk token. Two Prowess Triggers. So we'll look at our top three. Um, hmm. Actually, yeah. That's fine how it is, I think. Yes. We didn't really get a ton of new information from that, but we got enough. And we'll draw a ponder, of course. 
the reason Ponder's a good card. <laughs> um, so the Dryad Arbor up. This is a 3 3, this is a 2 2. Okay. So we will play an island as our land for turn. And we'll smash Darmory for 5. Block Monastery Mentor. Sure. And attempt to flash in a Deceiver Exarch. So right now, just this one's blocked, right? Yes. I wouldn't be able to block the monk sure. because yeah, yeah. I had the pass. Um, you still have a land in there. Hmm. Let's see. Is that worth it? I think it might be. Two blue. And counter spell the Deceiver Exarch. So pump triggers and a monk. So 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 this eats that. This takes three. Yeah. Go to two. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. We shall look. Sure. Pilgrim. Mm-hmm. Elvish Mystic. Uh, one card in hand? One card in hand. I'm going to condescend that for zero. <laughs> Basically, just to get a monk token, prize triggers. I will zero. Sure. And uh, the scry, of course. So, I think at this point, uh, maybe I do want that. Nah. Nah. So we'll just bottom both of these, I think. Yep. Yeah. Enter go. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. That's a fresh one. That's a sweet one, actually. So, we now have two islands, so our prairie stream comes in untapped. On account of all those shenanigans. Because it takes two to tango. It does. Um, you're at 19? Well, I'm going to start things off by probing you for life. Kiki jiki. All right. So I, I, I should have. I, I had reason to be worried about that, but you didn't actually have the three red. So that's, no, that's, that's been that's the problem. problem. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that puts me to fourteen. I get a monk. Prowess triggers. Draw a card. Um, I suppose I could have waited on the land. Actually, should have just waited to see if I got anything better. But that's all right. Um. So right now these all have I'm just gonna do this. One trigger on them. Um it's not the right one. Is this the right one? Jace the Mind Sculptor. Yup. Monk triggers. You have a blue and a red up, currently. I mean, I guess you could, yeah, but that's not <laughs> not a not a huge point into in doing that. So what I think I'll do is actually return this to your hand. Okay. 
So these all have two triggers on them. I don't really care about Domri Raid at this point as much. So I'm going to attack you for four, uh, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen. Block four of it. And two and twelve. Gush returning two islands. I almost put them in my graveyard. Prowse Dragger's Monk. Draw two cards. So three Prowse Dragger's. Yes. And unfortunately I didn't get anything instant speed. So uh, it's just going to be four, 16. eight. Yes, 16. Go to three. Okay. I did, however... Managed to pick up a Sensei's Divining Top, which allows me to do that. Pass the turn. Untap. That's the part where you just somehow wrath me. <laughs> I knew what my top card was, and that wasn't getting me out of this. Look at my top card. Sure. Here's an Elvis Visionary. That's fine. <laughs> Can let you dig a little bit, I guess. Elvish Mystic. Yep. And quarter calling for two. Sure. I don't know if this is scary or not. It's not scary. Okay. <laughs> Are you just going to fetch a forest bear? That'd be, there's, uh, there's no forest bear. would be pretty amazing. Cut. <laughs> That's probably the... Yeah. We'll get this phantasmal image. Ooh. And I'll get a monastery mentor. Sure. And a turtle. Uh, yeah. I will activate top to draw a card. Put top on top. And we will untap. We will draw our top. Oh, this will be good. This will be good. <laughs> okay, let's see how much we can do. So, we're going to tap that for blue and a colorless, doesn't really matter. To cast Snap on Phantasmal Image. Oh, actually, sorry, I guess I can't do that on Phantasmal Image, because then I don't, yeah, get, you the don't get the untap. Yeah, you don't get the untap. Yeah, so I'll do that on Right Charm instead, just so I can get the untap. And Prowess Triggers, of course. And we'll untap these two lands. And get a monk. I can probably stop counting monks at this point. We will Jace bounce the Phantasmal Image. Get sacrificed when it comes to target. Don't get any triggers from that, unfortunately. Um... Blue, blue. We're going to dig through time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure, why not? I don't think it really matters at this point. For two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that one good? Probably. It's probably the best one. So we'll take this and this. Put those on the bottom. Then we will cast... Sensei's Divining Top. Monk. Triggers. Then we'll play an island. Then we'll cast Opt. So, scry one, draw a card. It's an exciting thing that's coming down the pipeline pretty mm -hmm. soon. And I think we're out of monks, so I'll just do that. So we scry Last one. monk was a little special. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, don't want that. And draw a card. Put that back on top. Okay, unfortunately that's all I'm going to be able to do. So we will attack you for six. Um, 16, 26, 36, 46. Three minus 46 is dead. <laughs> Woo! You actually almost assembled a, a contraption there, but 
<laughs> yeah, I had really like get the all my Amanadorks. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> all right, so that was game one, and we will see you in game two. All right, game two. Go ahead. We've got... Those. Whoop. And since I kept a kind of sketchy one last time and it worked out well for me, we're going to keep an even sketchier one this time and hope that this can get us there. <laughs> All right. Also, we're on the draw, so it's fine. It's fine. It'll be good. Firelit Thicket. Turgo. See? Perfect. I'm gonna play an island. And a Serum Visions. Draw a card. Scry a two. Uh, I think I need to keep the top one. Even though I don't really want to. But I think I should. I think I ought to. But I don't want this one. Okay. Top, bottom. Maybe. <laughs> Good. Draw a rough return. Huh. Interesting. Mountain. Yeah. Going to tap this for two green. Mm-hmm. And an overgrown battlements. Oh. Okay. Sure. Turgo. It's the part where you play, like, another defender. Do you actually have more than, like, a few walls to make that good? I have a few, yeah. That's pretty sweet. So we'll draw that card. Um, I'm going to go for a Vaste Land, which I actually can't really afford to waste. And we're going to cast a Delver of Secrets and a Sensei's Divining Top. Pass the turn. Turns out these two cards are pretty good with each other. Tap. Rough return. Might be a little too slow, because you're probably going to ramp into something huge here. Arid Mesa. Yeah. Going to crack that. Going to 19 to find... What would be best here? So many options. A tundra. Okay. Yeah, a little easier to play with this many cards on Magic Online. <laughs> For filming, anyway. Yeah, you don't have to worry about shuffling there. Yeah, like I'm sure those people that play Commander every week are, are used to it, but... Yeah, it's, ni it's nice when you're filming to not spend 22 minutes of your Tapping for time. a green and a red. Shuffling. Sure. Yisan, the Wanderer Bard. Uh, okay, sure. That's kind of cool. Intro. Alright, we're gonna untap. Uh, with that on the stack, like the look trigger, Yeah. I'm going to use Sensei Divining Top to... I could have just left it. <laughs> wow, weird. Um, sure, you can know about this one. So put them in that order. And then uh, this happens, so we will reveal Day of Judgment. <gasps> which I'm probably not gonna cast, because... My guy's... Well, I don't know. That thing's annoying, but... I don't know. We'll see. So, that flips. And we draw. Then... Play a Tundra. As a land for the turn. And we will Basha for three. In the sky. 17. Pass the turn. End of your turn. Worldly Tutor. What's that one go fetch again? Search your library for a creature card, reveal it, put it on top. And this allows you to... That one's kind of separate from it. Yeah. Well, you're searching your library, gross. putting it on the battlefield. Okay, yeah, yeah. sure. All right. Yep, that's fine. 
Just trying to make sure there's no, like, weird interaction happening that's gonna just kill me. Flame Tongue Kabu. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good answer. What? It's just the sound I assume he makes. Untap. Giraffe return. What do you know? <laughs> the flooded grove. Yep. I got two filter lands. Yeah, that was my first draw. Yeah. It's just, I mean, there's only the two in the deck. Uh -huh. It's weird that, of the two that I could put in the deck. Yeah, and actually, actually last game I had my only one, too. Weird. Weird how these giant decks I think it's Jurgo. Really? I don't like your two blue mana up. Well, it doesn't have flash, so I guess. We're going to cast Telling Time. Look at our top three. Put one into our hand, one on the top. Or, sorry, one in our hand, one on top of our library, and one on the bottom. And I know two of these cards. I don't know this one. So I'm thinking... Um, hand. Top. Bottom. Because that's a little redundant. And then we'll untap, we'll draw a card, we'll say, what do you know? I know what that is. We'll play an island. And... Hmm. So you can just use that. I think we're going to go for... A Dovin Bon this turn. <gasps> and we're going to go up to 4 to give that minus 3, minus 0, oh, and its activated abilities can't be activated response, until my yeah. next turn. Yeah. So, so you do get one use out of it. Activate his ability. Putting a first counter on him. Mm-hmm. So he gets minus three, minus zero. Oh. Yep. So basically, on your next turn, he's just kind of a lame duck. Can't really yeah. do much. So for one drops, is basically which mana dwarf do I want? Yeah. <laughs> Should have targeted the battlement, deprived you of a mana. <laughs> it doesn't even say uh, not including mana abilities. It's just activated abilities can't be activated. Besides, this could be the turn you go nuts with walls. I don't know. Bird's Paradise. Okay. It's a decent one. I think having access to all the colors of mana is the best. Seems good. And then, yeah, that ability resolves. Okay. And then we will bash for three. If you want to chump block with that bird, whatever. <laughs> nah, 14. Pass the turn. Untap. Drop return. Tap for a green. Yep. Make a green and a blue. Sure. For a coiling oracle. All right. And it's an aether vial. Okay. Draw that. And we'll go for. Is this, this is the Kabu double turn. Double red. Flame tongue Kabu. Well, you don't need double red, but sure. <laughs> Gotta transform into something. Yeah, exactly. Four damage to Delver. Dead Delver. And go. Untap. Um. Hmm. Hmm. There's a draw. 
this point. Probably? Yep, yeah, I'll just draw. Okay. So, Dovin shall go to three to gain me two life and draw a card. So 22. And draw a card. And that was the not a good one. We'll look with top. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Oh, that's that's so bad. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, your day of judgment doesn't look really good at the moment, does it? No. Man, so close. So close to being able to do all that stuff. Uh, that's sad, I guess. Hmm. Which one I do here? I think we want ah, so bad, so bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one. Sure, why not? Leave that one on top. Yeah, and I guess this turn we're just doing this. Maze of Ith, pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Green and a red. Yep. Extra. He saw him. Okay. So now you get any two. That card seems pretty good. Gonna find a wall of roots. Ooh. <laughs> Them wall shenanigans. So you still have one, two, three, four, five mana? I think. I don't yeah. think you played a land yet either, so. You have six mana this turn still. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And we'll attack Dovin for five. Attack Dovin for five. I will remove Flame Tongue Kavu from combat, and Dovin will take one, going to two. Remove a green. Sure. Or remove a minus one, minus one counter for a green. Yep. Add one. Remove a green doesn't really make sense. No. <laughs> Three green. Three. Oh, sorry, total. Yeah. yeah, total. I thought you meant just from tapping no. him. I'm like, mm. <laughs> Use one of the green to filter to green and a blue. Yep. And a red, because why not? So how much mana is that? Five mana. Okay. Whisperwood Elemental. Leak. <gasps> Intro. Um. Hmm. I don't know if we're on that plan yet. Uh, I'm gonna look with top. One, two, three. I, I actually knew all those cards, so I'm not sure why I did that. Because maybe you wanted to change your mind. It's true. Could never hurt to do that. So, yeah, no, we'll just leave them like that. Then we'll untap. Then we'll draw that pitiful card. <laughs> and then... I'm thinking... Hmm... Thinking we look with top again. See if we can find anything better at all. We can't, really. Leave him like that. 
Um, yeah. Ah, timing for this whole thing is so bad. We'll go down, gain two life, going to 24, drawing a card. Then... We will play... A sea chrome coast. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Kind of... I mean, you did get rid of the Whisperwood Elemental, plans. which really would have... It's true. ...hated for that uh, day it's of true. judgment. And we'll also cast a Rune Chanter's Pike. I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Rootbound Craig. Yep. Craig! Not Craig. Three mana. Yep. To activate the sun. Sure. This is like birthing pot without having to sack anything. It's kind of sweet. Of course, it does die to more things. And you have to exactly find the creature. Yeah. Cost. That too. That as well. Going to find ourselves an eternal witness. Sure. That's pretty good. So we'll return this Whisperwood Elemental to my hand. Yep. You can probably just cast that this turn too, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Quite easily. And attack Dovin Bond for five. Kavu. He'll take one. He dies. But we did get to see him. <laughs> he didn't get to see him. So it's a thing. Tap it for two mana there. Yep. Five mana total for the Whisperwood Elemental. Okay, when does this trigger? On your end step, you manifest the top card of your library. Okay, sure. So, I guess before you make it to your end step, I will swords it. <gasps> so go ahead and gain four life. 18. Enter go. Untap. Draw. Hmm. Guess we kind of have to do it this way. As unexciting as that is. Boom! Goodbye, board. It was a nice board. It was a very nice board. Hmm. We're going to look with top. Just see if there's anything useful here. Not really. So, let's put him back like that. And here's a library of Alexandria. Past turn. A few turns before that's relevant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quite a few. Boreal Drood. Sure. Aether Vial. Yep. And... Two cards in hand? Two cards. And one colorless up. Make double blue. Time Walk. Ooh, okay. That's pretty sweet with Aether Vial. Never really thought of that. Oh, upkeep. Get the counter. Draw for turn. That is a very nice draw. It's not something I enjoy hearing. Very much. Wow. Alright. Green Sun Zenith for five? five. Okay. What could you have at five? Hmm. Well, it's X less. I guess, yeah. Well, I mean, I assume if you had fives in your deck, you'd probably want to get max yeah, like value. Yeah, that so. one. There's that guy, but yeah. he's gone. It's like we a tried twice. Three? Three tusk, maybe? 
probably have a Thrag Tusk if you're playing Birthing Pod. I think he ended up getting cut because I'm not trying to go that high. Ah. Probably. It's the nicest. Huntmaster of the Fells. Okay. That's a pretty good one. Um, so you get a wolf, which I think is on your side of the Yeah, I'm just there. trying to remember what all the ordering is there. Oh! Woo! Gain two life. Go on a 20. Yep. Shuffle the screen sound scene back in. Jergo. Untap. Um, don't do anything on my upkeep. Nah. I'll just draw. So. Do I just do that this turn? I don't know. Such awkward lands to do any of these things. It's the only issue. So awkward. But I guess that's just kind of the game we we're happening to be playing, so. Verdict. Verdict! <laughs> Go. <laughs> Untap. Keep. Draw for turn. Yeah, you'd have been beautiful last turn. <laughs> Here's a skull clamp. Sure. Oh, yeah, that would have been sick. Turgo. Uh, look what top. One, two, three. Uh, da, 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 sure. Like, like that. Sure. Like that. Okay. Untap. Draw. Cast the Curious Homunculus. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep rule. Take it up to three. Draw for turn. Hmm. That's all right. Good. Jergo. Hmm. Return a creature and draw. So we'll get back Delver and draw a card. And we'll untap. In response to that trigger, we will look. Ah, too bad. Sure. No reveal. Just draw. Hmm. Do that. Sure. Okay. We'll put Pike. So, shouldn't he have transformed? Oh, I don't have to. I don't have to cast the thing to have him transform. You're right. No. Yeah. Being yeah. in my upkeep, there are definitely more than three to transform. Yes. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. Um, we will put Pike on. Doesn't really matter. This one, sure. That way, if you have to kill something, you kill this one. And we'll attack you for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven. Go to nine. And here is a Geist of Saint Traft. Pass the turn. I think I'm in pretty good shape. For my upkeep, we'll take up the four. Yep. Draw off return. Five mana. For a zealous conscript. Ooh! We'll gain control of this Delver of Secrets. So, Rune Chanter Pike now counts your graveyard. No, because right? you control Rune pa Chanter Pike. Oh, you're Pike. right. Yeah. So, it's yeah, not right. your graveyard. You are right. Not that it matters overly. And then we will, using Aether Vial, flash in a Restoration Angel. Sure. That's pretty sexy. Take this, too. Okay. And... 
hand. Swing. So that's an 8 1. <laughs> and that's a 3 4 still? You didn't yeah, so cast anything after you took it? Um, yeah. Delver. <laughs> yeah, as nice as it is. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I could have I flickered didn't. steel on Yark combat, but. True, true. But, I mean, that is a pretty sweet play. And go. Um, I did still take 3 though. Going to 21. Alright. <laughs> It was it was a very valiant attempt, because uh, you had you had some stuff going a couple times, but having both those wraths were and I actually bottomed my third wrath. Wow, that's what's crazy. When I used this telling time, it was like two wraths <laughs> and a new Jutai's command. Draw a card. Uh, bobble pump. Oh, I I could have revealed, but it was this, so it doesn't really matter. It's bobble pump. Um. Sure, why not? We'll take a look. Sure. Um, yeah, I can't really do much else, so... We'll move. You have a good old remove Geist from combat on your turn. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty good. You're at nine? Sure. All right. Oh, actually, I can just do that. That's way better. Fencer. Bounce Angel. I think that'll do it. So, yeah, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Angel, wherever our angels are. Because yeah, I block here, because that's obviously the biggest. Yeah. I just want to show off an angel. Oh, my God. Gotta be some somewhere. Look for the white stacks. Oh, right in front of me. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, okay, so that one's a ton, but then this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm a nine, so that gets me. Woo! <laughs> well, uh. Yeah, I, guess I, wasn't... I should have flashed on yeah. your turn to steal something. I guess, yeah, I would have kept you alive one more turn, but I don't know. I mean, I don't it know probably wasn't how much it would have done. Yeah. I don't know how much it would have done. Never um, got to show off any of my cards, unfortunately, like my I combos. Mean, well, yeah, I guess you never showed your combos. I mean, you have Dobin Bond going for like four turns, so that's something. But I don't know. Uh, you do saw you, wanna... you mean? I think that's one I mean. more game. Yeah. You want to do a third? It's gonna be a long ass video, but that's all right. Game three. All right, game three. Go ahead. We've got. Those. Whoop. And for myself. Not a risk, but not a huge reward either. So. <laughs> See how that, that version of this hand, or this deck goes. Tega. Yep. Burb. Yep. Trigo. Draw a card. Seek on coast, and I will suspend a visions. Ooh. That's the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Polluted Delta. Mm -hmm. Crack that going to 19. What is the best to find here? Tundra. Shoot. And we're not going to shuffle that too much because we're also going to cast a Recruiter of the Guard. Ooh, okay. So it finds a creature with toughness, two or less. Mm -hmm. What's cool about this in your deck is you can play that one and Imperial Recruiter. They both kind of do the same thing. Hell, I could find a Imperial Recruiter with it. You could. It wouldn't be worth it. <laughs> Chain Recruiters. This one's going to find me... 
Come on, where are you? It's going to be right on top. Probably. Right the top card is Pester Mike. <laughs> okay. Antrigo. Untap. Three. Draw. That could be useful. Plain Island. And a Mishra's Bobble. Pass the turn. Mishra's Bobble. Untap. Draw for turn. Forest. Mm -hmm. An Arbor Elf. Sure. And we'll attack you for one. We'll take one for 19. Jurgo. Um, I'll keep. Draw a card. Is that one good? I don't know. Is that, is that dude okay? Um, Plain Island. Cast a Serum Visions. So we'll draw a card. Scry 2. Yes. Both decent. Pass the turn. End of your turn. Flash and Pestermite. I will crack Bobble in response. Look at your top card, since I know mine. Oh, okay. Interesting. Not much I can do about that. But I can do something about this! Logic Knot. Exiling... You can only pay... Because you just played this. Yeah, I just played right? that. So. Yeah, okay. So I'll exile the bobble. So, can I add one? pay one. You're going to like what's on top, by the yeah. way. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Untap. Draw for turn. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. If anything can get you back into this. Because <laughs> I can just fetch your other bits, too. Untap Tega. Yep. Tap Tega. Tega. Birthing Pod. Going to 17. Yep. I still think it was probably right to counter the thing, just in case you had, like, the Kiyu Jiki or whatever this turn, and I don't just lose immediately. Mm -hmm. But there is some merit I could see to... Uh, Seeing the birthing pot on top and then holding back the logic knot. Going to sacrifice Arbor Elf. Oh, sorry. It's draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep, not the next, not your next upkeep. So I actually drew a card on your upkeep since we did all this. Oh. Right? Yes. Yeah, because you flashed that in. So I'll just do that now. Because why not? That the one. I think we'll find a wall of blossoms. Sure. And a trigger. I think I draw a card first. Oh, well, I gotta shuffle on the front. Yeah. I mean, if you play a land this turn. Oh right. You could hit a land. I could hit a land. You never know. Wasn't a land. Okay. <laughs> Sure go. Did you pay a bunch of life for Birthing Pod? Uh, to cast it and activate it? No, I paid two life to cast it going to 17, but then I tapped birth like two. Because I had this. Oh, you had that? Too. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, I yeah. used them and then. Sure, I yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That's for the other. I was just looking at this board state and your life total. Um, send in. One. 18. Here go. Zap. Upkeep. Draw a card. All right. Um, play Mr. Gates. Tap those for some combination of stuff. Monastery Mentor. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Sulfur Falls. Sure.
Two to activate it. Yeah. Going to sacrifice Wallet Blossoms. Sounds good. To return Renegade Rallier. Oh. Okay. And since I have a revolt trigger, because Wallet Blossoms died. Yeah. That's an interesting one. I'll return this polluted delta. You don't want to get your own wall back? <laughs> Crack polluted delta going to 16. So intriguing. I was actually kind of thinking you were going to go ham with the... Because I know you still have a Deceiver Exarch. I don't know if it's in your hand, but he, like, sacked the Wall of Blossoms to Birthing Pod to go fetch that to untap the pod to use the pod again. Kind of nutty that way. I know that's doable. just don't know if you have the cards in your deck with which to do it. Four mana. Yep. Yeah. For a murderous red cap. Hmm, okay. Two damage to that. I'm gonna path the red cap in response. <gasps> Basically, just for the prowess. Yeah, more for the prowess. So it stays alive. Where did my monk stack go? I don't think there's a monk stack. It's in. Two damage. Blam zook. Going to find my planes wherever it is from the path. <laughs> uh, so much library searching. And a Jurgo. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Cast Ancestral. Get a monk. And some prowess triggers. Draw three cards. Draw for turn. Hmm. Yeah. Let's not do a lot. Yeah. Play an island. Play a Talrand. I don't really. I guess I can attack for two. Attack for two. Yeah, we'll take it. Fourteen. Pass the turn. Untap. Yeah, those are pretty pitiful draws, for the most part. Draw for turn. Basics to activate Birthing Pod. Sure. Sacking Recruiter of the Guard. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go for Xaxes there, too. Restoration Angel. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Flicker Renegade Rallier. Um. 
So that gets back what? Well, so I flicker but, it. No, but but uh, before that happens, uh, what does it get? Converted mana cost two or less. Two or less. You know that. Get back wall of blossoms. Yep. Draw a card. And five mana. Kiki jiki. Swords of the Angel. <laughs> Get the Angel, because it's exiled. Yep. Eighteen. Problem is, I'm going to get a 2-2 two -two Drake from that, which is kind of a weird thing. Uh, let's use a Swan. That's pretty close. Good. And it's your go. Problem is, it's nice that I got your combo, however... I have an active birthing pod on the field. An so. active birthing pod and a Kiki Jiki, which I'm not currently super able to deal with. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you have seven mana. Okay. Play a reflecting pool. We're going to play Brawl, Chief of Compliance. Yeah. Hmm. We got flyers. It's not very good though. Or is it? No, I gotta pass the turn. I do believe. Okay, on the end of your turn. Yeah. Gonna make a copy of Wall of Blossoms. Sounds good. Drop from that. Yep. And then on your upkeep. On tap. Upkeep. I'm going to flash in. I don't. I don't think this is gonna be good enough. But I'm gonna flash in a Vencer and bounce the Kiki Jiki. Bouncing Kiki Jiki. And I'm only doing that so that you can activate Birthing Pod and do some nuts, potentially, all this turn. You might still very well be able to, but... I don't know. We shall make a copy of Wall of Blossoms. Yep. So now there's two copies sitting here. So I did that one on the end step, and it's the next end step. Yep. So draw from that. Return this. Draw for turn. Well, let's sacrifice one of these token copies of Wall of Blossoms. Sure. They didn't change anything with, like, converted mana cost of token copies. Yeah, token they copies still have rules, converted right? mana costs. Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. They went really weird with Eternalize and saying, like, yeah. specifying that it's a copy except for the mana cost. That's kind of what I was wondering, because I was not, wasn't too sure if that was something that changed or not. So we'll get a Deceiver Exarch. Yep. Oh, you still got the mana for it, even. Yeah, yeah you got and me. Then in response, I'll untap him, but in response, I'll add a red. Sure. So why not? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I guess it actually wouldn't have mattered the way I ordered that. No. I mean, I guess I could have stopped you mid-combat and survived one turn doing it that way instead. So I suppose that would have worked, but... Oh, well. And then we'll use that red and four for a kiki-jiki. Yep. And Kikijiki will make a copy of the Seaver Exarch. Yes. Copy comes in, which untaps the Seaver Exarch, or Kikijiki. And we continue that train for near infinity. Sure. We'll go like a Googleplex. Why not? And we'll attack you for Googleplex plus three. I will take that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will take all of that. So, uh, there might have been a way where I could have staved that off for one turn by, I guess, doing all of this, like, in response to you potting, I was actually a little worried that, like, maybe you didn't have the last little bit or something like that, so then you could yeah. sack that. Like, even if you yeah. had somehow, like, if I had to be forced to block with the Wall of yeah. Blossoms and didn't have it to crack, yeah. I had this Glenelandra in my hand sure. that could have got the five mana Zealous 
Well, and the other and and the other the other way too is like even if I wait until you start making copies, presumably you just use two mana to get this out first, and then you start making copies. Then even if I venture the Kiki Jiki, I guess I could venture the. No, that wouldn't work either. So, but even if I ventured the Kiki Jiki, then you just recast it again and keep going. Yeah. So I don't think there was any other way that that could have went. Yeah, it was a bit unfortunate because I drew Birthing Pod the turn yeah. I would have cast Tezzeret to go fetch Birthing Pod. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw that on there with the bobble. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so that was this matchup. It was a long one. We hope you enjoyed Highlander. it. Don't get used to it because it's a lot of work to do these giant Highlander things. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Bye.